Hey guys, what is going on? Undercover here from GTT Clan, and welcome back to another tutorial. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this video. I haven't made a tutorial for a while, so let's get uh, let's get started. So this is pretty much about modding again, uh, modding certain games. And uh, today we're going to be modding GTA San Andreas, as you already read in the title, but this can also work for different types of GTAs, I think three different types of GTAs, not only that, uh, some other games like Counter-Strike, so uh, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do is go to a website called, um, what is it, GameModding.net. Now, let me explain to you guys why this website is special and, you know, why it's better, I guess, than the other websites out there. Alright, so first of all, you guys can probably already notice that I have uh, GTAinside.com right here. And good website to get mods from, probably one of the best. It has probably the most variety of mods, I guess. Um, so it's, you know, really good. It's got a ton of mods, way more than any website, I believe, I think. But this website, it allows you to install mods automatically. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go on GTA San Andreas because this is what we're modding, right? And let's look for a mod. I'm going to explain to you guys what the mods uh, say, you know, uh, how to recognize them, and so on. So here's, you know, uh, let me just show you like a vehicle mod. Uh, yeah, that's a bike. Okay, a car mod. So the BMW M3 E46. All right, so good example of um, this mod or whatever. It's a good example to this video because I want to show you guys how this website works and, you know, how, why it's probably the best, you know, in my opinion. So... <clears throat> First of all, I already said it, it automatically installs mods. So you'll know if it automatically installs it if it says auto installation. Now that's pretty obvious, right? It's, it sticks out there and, um, you know, it it's right there. So <laughs> pretty easy to notice. If it doesn't say that, it means it will not automatically install the mod for you. And then here we got information um, cheat, or information type thing right here. You know, it tells you who the author is, and you click the author, blah, blah, blah. It takes you to their uh, other mods and so on. So not really important right now. Uh, and then here we get the car that it replaces or whatever uh, the mod replaces in the actual game. So in this case, it removes the f uh, car flash from GTA San Andreas. And, um, yeah, so, and then he, down here it tells you, you know, what, um, the car is capable of doing in the game so like tuning or you know changing color I don't know like improved handling I guess right here I believe um, you know this is uh, changing the um, what is it called what, what do they call this like um, I don't I don't know I'm not sure what they call it I guess the drive right changing the drive so like all-wheel drive rear-wheel drive front-wheel drive so on and right here steering wheel position um, you know where is it in the car left or right and, uh, you know, most of the time if you see right, let's just keep in mind that it won't really work that well. The mod won't really work that well. But anyways, and then, you know, custom tuning parts. This mod does not contain custom tuning parts. I'm not sure what that means yet, but I know this one right here. This is extras for your car, like spoilers, body kits, I believe. And uh, right here, paint jobs, pretty obvious. And then, you know, the rest is just the rest. So I don't know why this keeps popping up. Uh... Mm, okay, <laughs> sorry about that guys. All right, and it should have a video for it. Uh, not they don't all have videos as you can see some don't have videos some have you know extras and you know It's a really great mod. So anyways, I'm gonna get on to show you guys how it works. So I Always wanted a mod from the weapon section. So it's actually called the predators uh, claw I believe I don't know why I'm so interested in predators lately, but I really like the predator claw and apparently can't search it So hold up. Give me a second uh, San Andreas. Oh, I spelled Predator wrong. My bad. Didn't see that. And, uh, I'm not gonna get a gun. I'm not gonna get that. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's Predator Blade. Sorry about the vibration. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's my phone. Um, where is it? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, what is... Oh, that looks interesting. The Rust... Rustler. Alright, uh, I think it's on page one. I hope it is. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I guess it's kind of useless, um, but it's pretty cool, right? So, I'm going to get this. You know, I'm just going to get it. Uh, it should tell you down here that's 100%, you know, no viruses or anything. You can check the scan results and all that. You can download this stuff manually, or you can download with the mod manager. Or, if you just click download on its own, guys it will give you the application to open so you guys can install it from the application it gives you which is the best way to do it in my opinion so 
you know, I didn't want to download anything big because I don't want to go over my bandwidth. Uh, but, you know, this is pretty small, so let's get to it. I'm going to click download. Uh, then you all you have to uh, do is wait for the time limit. Now, if you register for the site, you can actually disable the time limit or you wait less, um, which is a better idea, I guess, if you're using the website a lot. I am using it a lot, but I don't really care about registering at the moment because, you know, I can wait. While you wait, you can actually go look for other mods if you like, you know, just look through all the cars and everything. And, uh, you know, it's a really good idea. So I don't really... Um, you know, care about the time limit. Also, guys, while I'm waiting for that to finish, the best thing about this is you can choose what you want to replace in the game. So in this case, if I want to replace a car and I want a specific car in the game that I want to replace, for an example, I want to replace the, um, let's see, you know, SWAT truck or um, I'm trying to choose a car that I can actually replace right now. So the ZR350, right? I want to replace it because right now the car I have replaced to it is an RX-7, which I'm not really enjoying. So I want to change it to something else. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to choose something really quick. I guess, you know, um, uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to choose here. Hold on. Um, yeah, not this stuff, I guess. Uh, don't really need that. I mean, I can get another RX-7, but that wouldn't really be cool, would it? All right, I'm just going to get this Ferrari, all right? Um, you can't really customize it, so whatever. I don't need to. I don't really care. Uh, I think this is the old... Ferrari, yes it is, so it's, hopefully it's not highly detailed, and it's only 10.6 megabytes, which is perfect, so I'm going to click download and download that, and while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to click uh, download here, <clears throat> and then in a second it should pop up, and it should start to download for you, it should, you know, complete in a quick second, it should be a RAR file, if it is not a RAR file, then you probably downloaded the wrong one, <clears throat> but you know, whatever. Oh, by the way, you're going to need WinRAR for this. I probably, I'm going to put that in the text in the beginning. I probably already did, so sorry about that. I forgot to mention, but I'm sure everyone has WinRAR by now, so. All right, now we're just going <clears> to <throat> wait for this to download. Sorry about my throat. I feel a little weird. My throat hurts a little bit. All right, so we're going to continue with this one. So totally, or in total, we got at least, you know, 12 megabytes, I guess. So it's not really much, nothing at all. It won't even affect the bandwidth, thank God. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of bigger mods out there, so be careful what you get. So we don't really need this page anymore. Let's close that. Oh, I love this wallpaper. Don't you guys love Battlefield? Um, anyways, opening this up, we go to Downloads. We drag all this um, stuff we downloaded onto our desktop. Um, from here, you just, well, I'm going to go back uh, because I want to... Let's see, put in mods. Um, so I'm just going to put it in, what What did we just get? We got, alright, so weapons pack. Uh, this is the weapon. I guess it says gun pack, but whatever. And then the Ferrari goes into cars. Alright, so you don't need these files, guys. These are just for me to organize things because I like to be organized. So anyways, going into gun pack. Uh, now we got to find it. Oh, it's right here. I'm cocktick, um... Is this what it said? I don't remember. Anyways, extract here. That's all you have to do is right click the file, the WinRAR file that you downloaded. Click extract here or extract files, you know, wherever you want. And then it should pop up with the uh, application right on top of what you extracted. And double click that, guys. Then um, I believe it's going to ask you, yeah, it's going to ask you for um, user account control, I guess, or what do they call this? Um, you know, um, administrator mode or something, you know, running as administrator. So anyways, and then it's going to pop up with this program right here. Now, super easy to use. First thing you want to do is go on select folder with the installation installed game. And I already selected mine, you know, it's on the desktop. It's in this file right here or in this folder. So go ahead and locate your folder for the game. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to locate it pretty quick. Um, you know, the fastest way to locate your game folder is, you know, find the game application. Uh, right click it and then go on where is it? properties I believe um, oh no sorry open file location there we go sorry about that so you click open file location and it should take you straight into your directory and uh, you don't really need your directory though uh, but you know you need your game folder so then just click like the folder behind that one you know, click the folder that's called GTA San Andreas, and then there you go. So once you have all that set up, click install, and guys, that's pretty much it. You click finish, and um, 
the mods installed in your game, it's ready to go and it's ready to run. So I'm going to install the car mod that I just got before I start up the game. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like in game. I'm going to show you guys that it's real and everything. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get on with that. Now, I don't remember what I got. I think a Ferrari. Yeah, I believe so. Um, Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. Did I miss it? Did I? Do you guys see Ferrari anywhere? I can't. Oh, there. Well, 458. I got the uh, 512. Is what's the 512 or the 458? The 458 is the California, I believe. Correct. And the 512 is. Oh no, the California's up here. Then what the hell is this? 458, 458. I don't remember. Damn it. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna get this. I'll install both. How about that? Actually, no. Once you extract it, the program should tell you what it is. So, <clears throat> damn. I'm out of breath. All right. <laughs> install this. Ah, uh, yeah, this is it. All right, cool. All right, guys. So I'm gonna meet you guys back in game. All right, guys. So once you're in the game, ignore everything you see right now. These are different mods in this game. Oh. Let me just get rid of some people here quick, so I can show. All right, I'm gonna go far away so I can uh, show you the mod real quick. Um, you know, I don't want to be distracted by people, and you know, I don't want to get annoyed right now. So I'm just gonna go right here. So this, this, this. All right, easy. All right. Let's change the weather so we can actually see something. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Change the uh, time of day. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. All right, guys. So let's begin. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys is the claw, I guess. Um, by the way, I'm running a shitload of mods. So if my game crashes, your game won't, all right? But I'm running a lot of mods right now. So, oops, sorry about that. Uh, let's just go on skin selector and show you guys the cool skin that I will be using, I guess. And now I'm going to use the teleport tool again. It's apparently it glitched out, so. Um, Alright, let's look at the blade. Weapons, weapons, melee, and then knife. So, as you can see, guys, it did work. It looks pretty badass. I really like that. Um, you know, I just wish you can go into, like, a predator stance, I guess. Uh, something like that. So, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I don't know if you guys like it, but I think that's pretty sweet. And, um, really cool, you know. Hopefully, you guys... I mean, if you want the download link to this, I'll probably put it up, but... Other than that, I don't think I will. But, yeah, Predator Claw, pretty cool. Um, there's a... I don't know what that is, actually. I forgot. It's from Avatar. Some kind of Hilo or something. So, uh, rest of the mods... Actually, wait, hold on. I'm gonna look at this in first person. Oh, it's pretty badass. Kind of reminds me of, uh, the new Call of Duty map on Ghost. I forgot what it's called. Devastation, I believe. So, anyways, there's that. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the uh, car. Just to show you guys that that worked as well. So, sports cars, set 2, ZR350. So, there it is, guys. There's the Ferrari that we just got. If you don't believe me, then, you know, go back into the video. But you should believe me. So, let's take a little joyride. As you can see, it works well. Um, you know, nothing's wrong. And, uh, yeah, great, you know, great way to install mods really quickly into the game. I know it took a long time in this video, but I wanted to explain as much as I could for you guys so you guys can understand it. If you have any trouble at all, guys, please comment, you know, like the video, subscribe, and hopefully you'll, uh, you know, stay tuned for more tutorials. Um, I try to be more, uh, what, how do you call this, like, more detailed, I guess, in my tutorials than other people because... A lot of people just show you how to do it, but they don't tell you what happens, what the con uh, consequences are, or anything like that, and you know how to do it more easily. They just you know get right to it, and I didn't want to do that you know specifically. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, once again, if you have any questions, ask me. Uh, if you have any, if you have any errors, you know finding. Uh, a game or you know the game's not installing it or the mods you installed you know once you start playing the game everything like all glitchy everything you know nothing's rendering and all that kind of stuff I have all the files for that fix if you need it just comment below and I'll put it in the description uh, the next day you look at it but um, 
or I might just private message you and send you the link to it. I don't know. I'll see. Or I'll, I'll just reply to your comment and send the link, alright? So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and peace out, alright guys? Have fun.